Hello everyone. It's that time again when we bring you good news of the week. Let's begin the Diwali weekend on a positive note with some really positive stories. US authorities returned 307 antiquities valued at nearly 4 million dollars, roughly 33.20 crore rupees, to India in a repatriation ceremony organized at the Indian Consulate in New York. This is an outcome of a 15 year investigation that involves jailed art dealer Subhash Kapoor. You may soon be able to touch and feel the texture of the fabric on your smartphone when shopping online. IIT Madras researchers have developed a new generation touch screen display technology that lets users feel the texture of the images on their smartphone with the swipe of a finger. The technology named as iTad has hardware and software that can create textures ranging from smooth to gritty. Global carbon dioxide emissions from the burning fossil fuels are expected to rise by just under 1% this year as the expansion of the renewables and electric vehicles outweighed coal demand and international energy agency reports said carbon dioxide emissions are on course to increase by nearly 300 million tons to 33.8 billion tons this year a far smaller rise than their jump of nearly 2 billion tons in 2021 three women a daughter of a widow Manarega worker a daughter of a roadside vendor and a daughter of a small farmer have cleared the state judicial services exam fighting all odds they are among the group of judicial officers who have been selected through the Haryana Public Service Commission even 7 years after retirement Swapna Ghosh Roy's bond with Kamla Bari High School in Malda's English Bazaar in West Bengal cannot be severed Roy still teaches students sets question papers and checks answer sheets she takes nothing not even her monthly honorarium in return that's all for now see you next week and wish you all a very happy and safe diwali